Meet our floating home Calypso. She's been sailing us all over the place. We're so happy you're along for the ride. Now we're headed along America's East Coast where beautiful sights and new adventures await. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. We've been sailing the world Just and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us on our next adventure. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. All day we've been like, what is that smell? It smells like throw up. We started sniffing around the boat and yeah, we like found a, disgustingness. A little feather. What the hell is that from? A, a feather? Bird? Yeah, it's like a little white feather. Our sink has a bunch of that stuff in it. Yeah, nasty. Doesn't smell now though because I put vinegar down here. Still need to get this out. There's a little piece in there. It was like all clogged up. I don't know how it got clogged up because I don't know what the hell it puts on this sink. But Well, it won't smell anymore. The smell mystery is over. Thank goodness. You're like a surgeon, a boat surgeon. Yeah. Pour I did teach you how to take the sink apart. Here. Huh? I did teach you how to take the sink apart. Yeah, well I've never done that. I don't know. I just did this in the bathroom. Oh, that's nasty, honey. Yeah. And this is like, nobody does it. You don't brush your teeth in this sink, nothing. You literally just like wash your hands in that water. sink. Yeah. You ready for tomorrow? I'm ready. We'll Portsmouth. get out of here. Yeah. Portsmouth? Ports P-Town, how about that? P-Town. What do you guys think about being off the boat? Great, this is the first time off the boat. Probably like a week, right? Yeah, but we haven't gone out to eat since no. March. Yeah. It, no, I'd say before March. Yeah. No, before March we were all hunkered down. So yeah. it's kind of like January. Wow. We're in the historic downtown part of uh, Portsmouth, Virginia. It's very cool, lots of history here. I love seeing the ships here going down the ICW. There's a Commodore Theater here. It's called the Commodore Theater. Yeah, you told us about that. Yeah, a cruiser friend told us about it. Lots of boats stop. They go over, buy tickets at the theater, and you dine in and watch a show. They give an option of two shows, but it's not open right now. I don't think it is. At least I called, nobody answered. Um, but it's like a perk for our cruisers to do around here. This is the free dock area where cruisers can come in if your vessel's under 40 feet. Um, tie up to the free dock. And then you take a short walk to the Commodore Theater or a restaurant, brewery of your choice and uh, eat some dinner, watch a show and pop back on, back down to your boat. It's been great, I've loved it. The f we got pizza tonight, we got it delivered and it was delicious. Like yeah. the best pizza I've had in a while with some yeah. calzones. We had a pretty sweet spot right here at the marina. There you go. It's like we pulled basically right up to the bar which is right there. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, I enjoyed uh, sitting up there, getting a view of the boat. That was nice. Seeing the boat from like a different perspective. Yeah. Top part. I really liked it here. We'll definitely come back. It's a cute little town. Well, I'm looking forward to going to Anchor tomorrow night and then off to Annapolis. Yeah, that'll be nice. So the first time I ever went to Annapolis, I was searching for the boat. And now the second time I'm going in on my own boat. So we were off. We anchored for the night and set sail up the Chesapeake to Annapolis, Maryland. We pulled into Annapolis not too long ago and the goal was to complete boat projects here and I think we've done a pretty good job with that. Uh, we've done a lot of troubleshooting on one of our AC units. Not that it's fixed, but we have tried. <laughs> this is our water pump for the air conditioning that's having the issue. And I don't know if you could tell or not, but it's hanging. So instead of being like this, it's hanging, which puts this lower, this outlet right here should either be parallel coming off 
on the top end, not the bottom, or straight up and down. And that helps with air, getting air out of the system. This thing's water cooled. So what happens is water goes through, gets through, goes through these little pipes, gets spun around here and cools this thing off. So what's happening I think is this is overheating. It's shutting itself off to save itself. It's actually warm and I haven't ran it for a while. It's saving itself by shutting off, but that stops the airflow, I mean the water, and then you don't get air conditioning. So what I'm gonna try to do is just take this off, off this, this bracket. I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna spin everything so that it's, this is straight up and down. This is our throttle system for the Yacht Commander. Anytime I work with water and stuff like that, I always worry about this thing getting wet. So I just usually just take a towel just as a precautionary deal and cover everything up so if some water splashes, it doesn't get on here. It doesn't hit the unit directly and I can hopefully save it before it gets too bad. Right, this water's already shut off and I'm going to start removing this bracket. So this is the little L bracket I got from the air conditioning guy. I just took basically pre-drilled two screw holes and I'm just gonna mount that up on the bulkhead there. I'm gonna check this for leaks. If you could uh, just turn on, be ready to turn off. Ready? Yeah. All right, thanks. You can leave it. We accomplished wiring in the boat, right? Putting our Balmar on. Yeah. Today we inst finished installation of the second Balmar 614. We have professionals come do it. We have the other one installed in Grenada. The Belmont regulator has um, four, well, really actually four or five essential wires. This one here is the voltage sensor. This one here is the main positive. You have the ignition from the from the key switch, negative, and the blue. I'm not an electrician at all. I never claim to be. So whenever I have something like this going on, I usually try to get help. It basically entails to modify the alternator on the engine. You have to disable the internal regulator, which is something I'm not gonna do. Um, and then you basically hook it up to a Balmar 614, and then the alternator can send current straight to, in our case, the house bank. You can do it different ways. We chose to send them to the house bank. Um, so what we did is we took the alternator off, sent it to an alternator shop. It took them a day. They disabled the internal regulator. They take it all apart, redo it all, put it back together. And then I had electricians come in and run cable from this alternator all the way to our mount, main power bus, I'll show you that. And now this alternator, uh, by use of the Balmar 614 that's hooked up to it, will charge the house bank while we're, going, while we're underway. Get all that? This thing is pretty sweet. Let's see the new one. So the engine is over there. This is our starting battery for the engine. And this is where the Balmar is uh, hooked up, which is a good spot. It keeps it out of the heat from the engine, and uh, it's right there with the battery, everything's cool. So that thing right there is what regulates, it's the, it's the new regulator for the alternator. Uh, you can program it, it does uh, bulk, absorption, float, um, it does all kinds of stuff. And it also monitors the alternator's temperature um, and battery temperature. I like to run the engines um, and exercise all the systems um, every couple days at least while we're at a dock. This is starboard battery and the port battery. Now, they'll both do a little something different here because they both have their own Balmar sensing everything. They're pretty close, but one thing that is awesome is whenever I had the stock alternators for the Volvo Pentas in here, it would uh, bury itself. I mean, this thing would be like all the way down. Even though it was putting out like the correct amount of voltage, it would be buried and then it would cause alarms to go off and all that kind of stuff. So slack tide at high tide. Whenever I put these ball marks on, it fixes that issue. So obviously, something inside those Volvo Penta alternators caused that to happen. And um, 
now it's not happening, so that's great. I'm excited. It's cool to have both sides up and running now. You want to see the wiring? I do. All right. You'll need to get up in there with me. This is under the navigation station, and these are our main bus bars here. So he's put in fuses here and here for the port and starboard alternators. It just hooks up right there, and then the alternators send current up to this area, and then that will charge. That charges the uh, house bank. The company that we used was um, Marine Electric Systems here in Annapolis, Maryland. Uh, I talked to the guy. I don't know if he's the manager or the owner. His name's Patrick. And then um, the two guys that came out and worked were Nick and Nick. I would recommend them for sure. Um, we got oil changes done, completed. We really got into detailing the boat and getting her in ship, sh ship, what is that? Ship shape. Ship shape. Uh, so we've gotten a lot done here. That's not even all of it. Lots of boat parts on board. I just provisioned two days ago and today we're just gonna take the rest of the day and wrap things up. So we have a little bit of organizing to do one of the lazarettes. I'm gonna get some burn marks off the dinghy and then there's been a bird pooping on our boat after we've put the TLC into it so I'm gonna rewash the deck as well. <laughs> Jeremiah also has some things going on too. Let's see. What do you got going on? Well I'm just looking at this part. I think we're gonna have to Delay maybe a day to get this other part. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. I thought we were leaving tomorrow. No, we've been swamped with boat stuff and washing, doing all the kind of stuff, but uh, doing videos and all kinds of different stuff. So we hired a company to do the easy stuff, which is the oil change. The guy came in here and broke the freaking engine. I don't know why, but I can show you right here. On the raw water pump, there's a uh, little brass piece or bronze, whatever, that, that's little number three that goes inside the pump. This is where the impeller goes. And there's a little screw. These screws are extremely like soft. Both, all that stuff's very soft. And for some reason, he just like twisted it and broke it. So this is not something that anybody carries. Um, I'm going to have to get with a Volvo dealer here in Annapolis on Monday. It's today, Saturday. And trying to see, hopefully, they'll have that those three pieces the well i mean it's just the um the, the bolt the little washer and the the can which is number three and if not we'll have to order it next day at out so that's you know it goes to show like you have to do it all yourself you can't even leave the easiest jobs to anybody else because you know something bad will happen always happens and we're gonna take it back to me because you're a Debbie Downer. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. I just heard this news first, just now. You heard it just like you. Yeah, I mean, well I just ran the engines and I wanted to see like how bad it was and I went down there and it's just like the bolts just falling off. I don't oh, know. Gosh. You never, I don't know why you who does that? I don't know. But especially if you're professional. Who does that? Name the company. Yeah, it's baloney. Okay, so I might not wash down the boat today because I wanted to do it right before we left. No, I probably still will. Give her a nice clean. I'm going to work on some windows and um, just have a fun day. And then later... I'll wash, I'll wash the boat. Oh, you want to help me wash the boat? I'll wash the boat. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have a helper. First, I'm going to do the dinghy. You want to help me with the dinghy? Yeah. First, we must find our cleaning stuff. It's somewhere down there under all of this gunk, but I have a little helper that's gonna help me. I am searching for the cleaners back here. You, you have, can. You have you, teched away really good. No, this is the wrong area to go in for the cleaners. Oh. But I appreciate you because I had to clean this out. Oh. But um, just leave the stuff out and you gotta go in through the other hatch. Seriously? Yeah. Is it easier that way? That's where they are. I see them right here. Yeah. So you go in the other hatch and it'll be right there on the right. This is crazy. I'm happy that we have crawl spaces that we can fit in though. And I'm happy you're gonna organize this today. It's well, I'm gonna tell you right now, half of your things are gone in there. Cause it's, it's not been- not really uh, my stuff. So really you should be half of your stuff. I don't know, I'm gonna empty that sucker out. All I have are two things. Okay. Everything, everything's weight, it's going. Yeah, it's gonna have to be your stuff. Don't you just love those little husband and wife moments? We all have them. 
on to something productive. Let's get our dinghy taco all shined up. So how's the uh, planning going, guys? Yes, it's going good. He sprayed me down. <laughs> Hi, Reese. Well, Mom, you did it to me, so it's fair, okay? Yeah, when I did it, it was like short little intervals. <laughs> He did it, he just like wowed me with it. Zombies are attracted to dirtiness. All right, switch me now, you have oh, yeah. I the scrub. Okay, Captain Max. a little helper. <laughs> I've said it before, I just love moments like this. Spending time with my boys is my favorite thing to do. Pretty. New bridle. The old the old bridle was stretched to the max, man, and we needed to replace that thing big time. So since we stopped and there was West Marine by, actually we ordered one from Mantis and it was really nice, but it's just too big for our boat. So I went in, saw, asked them, uh, asked West Marine if they could kind of like adjust it. They said no, they wouldn't adjust it because you know legal stuff um, makes it weaker, whatever. And then I said, well, if I just bring you mine, can you duplicate it? And that's what they did. We're gonna go down and I'm gonna shackle these two. We have two points at the water line. I'm gonna shackle them up and we'll have our new bridle going. I am so tall up right now. What <laughs> kind of trouble are you two getting into? You ready? Oh my goodness. What in the world was that for? Hey! Do you want to um, lower them a little bit? We'll really get them swinging across the deck here? Yeah. Daddy, can you wait? Shut your mouth. Uh -oh. oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, fishies are jumping. The fishies are jumping right under you. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> Is your Andre walking? Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. You're getting an A for effort. Well, today's the big day. I'm excited to get to the boat today and move on. Then he cranked on, broke it. So I'm just gonna put the camera right back in the same spot. Wild with New Jersey boardwalk. I have an hour left of my watch. I'm passing by Calypso, North Carolina. I was mad that you had your friend emailing you. Are you guys okay? Here we go. Luck on your first cruising adventure. Ah, thank you. Here we go. Got an Uber to get some groceries and we saw this cute little artist shop. You're doing a great job there, honey. Thank you. Here's your coffee. Thank you, baby. Here You ready for this? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're passing Billy Joel's estate. If it lets loose, it's gonna probably plummet into our boat. They were under the bow already. VHF antenna firmly mounted. It's all burned up in here. I guess we won't be leaving early without a radar. The problem is everything's so small I can't freaking read it. You can't even really see the top at all. Oh, oh you're right God. in front of us, it's gone. I found something nice that I Don't take me back! You can't take me back! I'm gonna turn north and probably put out the head tail. It's nice and smooth. Our radar's beginning. Trouble. Have a good time with it. Uh, put your butt. Put it right under your butt. Yucky day to come back into New York. What do you think? Oh, what? Are you under some naked shots? Probably. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.